Hello, what's up everyone? I'm standing right here at the corner of Young and Shepherd, where the McDonald's and the Taco Bell are, and where Shepherd Young subway station is. Wow. Why do you have to honk like crazy like that? It doesn't even sound like honking to me. Okay, so I hope I'm walking up Young Street and not down. And this right here is the ventilation for the subway. Wow, it's pretty busy here on the streets. So today is the first day of winter. And uh, well, winter actually does, well, it starts today, but winter doesn't start until 4.47 p.m. So right now it's still fall until 4.47 p.m. But uh, yeah, so that Young and Shepherd corner, that's where the main North York area is. It's the center of North York, and I'm gonna be walking all the way up to Finch in this video. And uh, so yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this could be uh, Koreatown, because when you're uh, like between North York Center and Finch, there's a lot of, uh, Korean places. And this right here is the Young and Shepherd Center, so it's basically a shopping mall. Kind of like Eglinton Square. Okay, I'm gonna try to cross the road here. And there we go. We made it. very sunny outside I I don't see any clouds in the sky it's so it's very sunny it may be sunny but it's not warm it's cold I said that I think the temperature is like minus one or minus two or something and of course there's my shadow right in front of me ahoy mr. shadow got a mama's pizza here look at that Barbarito one of my favorite fast food restaurants it's a Mexican chain just like Chipotle I just love Mexican food honestly There's no shortage of places to eat. And right now there's, they're building construction right here. Uh, I think they're building something. So I'm walking underneath the scaffolding. Now, I actually tried to film a walking video along here a month ago, but it didn't turn out well because during my walking video, I ran out of batteries. Like, you know, the battery level was very low. And then as I was trying to film my walk-in video, I just ran out of batteries and it ended prematurely. So I'm basically starting again at a fresh approach. Now this right here, the subway runs directly underneath the streets. So in between York Mills and Shepherd Young, there's Highway 401. So, it basically runs directly underneath streets until you get to Highway 401, but it runs underneath streets and only underneath streets between Shepherd Young and Finch and uh, York Mills to Eglinton. And then it runs directly underneath streets between, you know, in downtown, between Museum, Union, no, 
no, Museum to Queen's Park, it runs underneath the, um, that garden where the legislative building is. But then it runs directly underneath streets between Queen's Park and Union, then Union to College, I believe. And I could tell I'm approaching North York Center because of this building right there, this glass building. Because I know this is Mel Aspen Square, so it's so easy to get to Mel Aspen Square by TTC. You just uh, get off the subway at North York Center and then you're there. I went to Mel Aspen Square once with my dad. And I think that's also where they have fireworks too. But we didn't go there for fireworks, we just went there for our own pleasure. Like my dad and I walked from Finch to North York Center then got back on the subway. And you know what, I don't care if this light is still showing the hand. There's not much in the way of traffic here, so I don't mind taking chances. I don't have a problem with that. So if you look back to my videos from the summer, I had a mouse crisis before, like in January, then in the summer. I even filmed a video called uh, Mouse on My Patio. Well, I bring this up because I'm having a, a mouse crisis again. I don't know why I keep getting mice in my apartment. You see, every night, every day I have to put up with a mouse in my room and there's no effect whatsoever. We set up mouse traps, but it's just water off a duck's back because we already caught two mice. I can only I could only tell there was a mouse in my room because of the sound of the um, the styrofoam. There was the there were mice chewing against the styrofoam, so we we set up traps and we caught one mouse. We thought this crisis would be over. Then there was another mouse. We caught it, and yet there's another mouse in my room. I, I feel like this is a never-ending crisis. You know why? Because I feel like I'm getting a replacement mouse. So one, my, one mouse gets killed and then out comes another one just to replace the mouse that, that I killed. This, this is so hopeless. Like, are, you think that uh, you have eradicated something, but it's just too good to be true. Kind of like a lot of times I dream about, oh, look at that, there's marble slab creamery. They have that in Stockyards Village. Yeah, like sometimes I dream about something and it's too good to be true. Well, I just wish there was a way that I could eradicate the mice quickly. Wow, they're doing construction here too. A lot of, but I mean, what could I say? You can't, I can't have rodents in my apartment. Cause uh, when I sleep at night, I hear the sound of the mouse running around and eating the styrofoam and it creeps the heck out of me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for the time being. Hey, look at that, there's PetSmart. Very nice. You know, there's this commercial. I don't know if if, if this is a if this is if, a, if it's a song that you get from somewhere, if it's just a slogan song. But in every PetSmart commercial, they keep singing that song. I do anything for you. I do anything for you. Like, do they get that song from somewhere, or, or did? Did the whole PetSmart company just make it up? Because starting this year, you hear that song in every every single commercial that they come up with. That's what that's the song you hear. I mean, that song makes sense because PetSmart offers all kinds of services. Like they sell food, they sell treats. Like 
of course, like it's a pet store. They sell, they sell stuff for pets, but not only that, they offer grooming, they offer training, they offer dog sitting. So it's not just uh, a store for pets. So this is what I like about PetSmart. Now I don't have a pet myself, although I do dog sit my brother's dog once in a while, which you've seen in my videos from before. But uh, yeah, I have been there before just for that purpose. And then there's Pet Value. I think I like Pets, PetSmart more than Pet Value, just, just because they offer more services. I find, you know, my favorite stores are uh, PetSmart, Sport Check, Party City, Home Depot, and Best Buy. These are my favorite stores. The only place where North York doesn't look diverse is uh, when you're on Young Street. Like, it still looks like Toronto. But when you're in North York, like east or west of Young Street, it doesn't really look like Toronto. It looks more like Vaughan or Markham or Richmond Hill or something. But when you're on Young Street, it always looks like Toronto. No like, uh, even Young and Finch still looks like Toronto. This, this must be a vent, I don't know, this might, must be a ventilation for the subway, because I can hear the, the sound of a fan down, down below. I guess this is for the subway, I, I could be wrong. Doing some, they're doing some construction just over there. So now I think we're heading into uh, Koreatown. That's where they, you know, they have a lot of Korean stores. It could be, I mean, it's possible it could be uh, Chinese or Japanese places, but I'm pretty sure it's Korean because Chinatown is in is on Spadina. It's downtown, just south of UFT. I'm feeling a little bit disappointed this week because. It turns out that the 8,000, the 8,000 to 8,011 airport buses have just gotten retired. I actually managed to go out and uh, take some pictures. I actually took a picture of 8,006, I believe. I could be wrong, or maybe it was 8,008, I don't exactly remember, but it was running on the 46, and I took a last shot of it, but... You know, that's, uh, you know, I, it was unexpectedly retired. And the problem with that is I was actually planning on taking a trip to the airport in the near future. But, uh, I, but now it turns out that without those airport buses, 8,000 to 8,011, I just call them the Orion 7 OG airport buses, but without them, it's not official because the livery outside, the livery says airport. 
So without those buses, taking a trip to Pearson Airport on route number 900, it's just not gonna be official. I mean, I'm still gonna do it. I'm still gonna take it, film myself on the 900 bus one day, but it's just not gonna feel official. That was a 97 bus that just flipped by and it's an Orion 7 NG diesel. I think this right here is a children's cemetery. It's, uh, it says 1901 in his 68th year. Okay, so maybe it's not a children's cemetery, but it's so small. Because from what I can gather, usually children's cemeteries are about this size. They're pretty small. But it's so, you know, it makes you feel so emotional because it's a tragedy when children die because they got their whole life ahead of them. They die at a young age. Like really, they, and also children are, that are so vulnerable. That's why they're so vulnerable because they got a whole life ahead of them. And I, in my opinion, to live a full life, if you live to be a hundred, you live a full life. Anything, if you die any younger than a hundred, it's, uh, it's a little early. There's, there's a Kumon. Now there, now Kumon is actually an international, um, math and reading center. Now I actually used to take it one time. I took it for a few years, so then I quit. But no, I did not go to that one, if you may ask. But the way it works is that you get to study any, like, any grade level at any time. Like, the way it works is that when you first start the program, you take an assessment, and then you get placed on a certain level to where you have no learning gaps whatsoever. So obviously you start below your grade level, then you work your way up. But you could like study at any level regardless of your age or grade. So if, you, if you're studying above your grade level, it means you're ahead of your classmates, which is the advantage. I wonder what that thing is. dry cleaner. This shop is so small it makes it look old school. I mean, in my opinion, small shops just look old school. But it actually smells like pizza right now. Ah, the smell of pizza. I love that smell. Which reminds me, the Humber College bus terminal smells like Tim Hortons. It smells like Tim Hortons hot chocolate. I always smell that smell every time I'm waiting for the 927 bus. I find that Humber College bus terminal is a good place to go transit fanning because, you know, you got the 927, the 996, 927, the 96, but you also got uh, Mississauga, York Transit, and, uh, and Brampton Transit. Oh, it looks like somebody's getting a Christmas tree. It's kind of late, because Christmas is coming in four days. I think Hanukkah started a week, like a week ago, and 
it ends on Boxing Day. I don't celebrate Hanukkah, but I do know the tradition. The candles that uh, you light on Hanukkah is called a menorah. And, the, and then uh, the type of food you eat are latkes, which are waffles, I believe. Waffles and syrup. And then there's this game called the dreidel. It's basically like some some weird looking spinning top. So I do know a, just a little bit about Hanukkah, even though I don't celebrate it. One of my classmates in fifth grade celebrated Christmas and Hanukkah at the same time. But uh, I don't celebrate it because I'm not Jewish. I mean, you may, you may think that uh, you'd celebrate Hanukkah just as a replacement of Christmas, but uh, Christmas is more well-known than Hanukkah. This is why there's also another way to wish someone, someone Merry Christmas is Happy Holidays. Because you say Happy Holidays because some people don't celebrate Christmas, but... Everybody still gets the day off. Even though you don't celebrate Christmas, you're still going to get the day off school. And uh, businesses are still going to be closed on Christmas Day. Like, obviously, if you're, uh, if you're Jewish and you don't celebrate Christmas, you just uh, treat Christmas like some, like it's a day off. You know, you treat Christmas like Victoria Day or Canada Day or something like that. Like you don't actually wake up in the morning, you go down to your tree and then you open up the presents. Like it doesn't, it's not what you do, but to me, I'm going to be celebrating Christmas for the rest of my life. Oh, by the way, you look at the street sign right here. Young Street divides the West End and the East End of Toronto. You, so west of Young Street is Finch Avenue West, and then east of it, east of Young Street is Finch Avenue East. So your west, it's called, it's Avenue West, Avenue West, but then your east of Young Street is Avenue East. This is why Young Street is such a major street of Toronto, because it divides the west end and the east end. But hey, look at that, I made it to Finch Subway Station. Well, I made it to Young and Finch at least. So, yeah, now that I made it a Finch, Finch subway station, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more videos. And, uh, yeah, peace out. Bye for now.